So we're on. Hi, oh, I'm here with Samara. Hi. And we've been having some, we're here with Roxy too. Hi, Roxy. <laughs> and um, we've been having some amazing conversations while walking the streets of Venice. And instead of me describing what Samara does, because it's really magical, I would like her to tell you. She works with the pelvic bowl. No, this is the reason I wanted to turn on the camera. We didn't know we were making a video, um, is that it struck me as something that it's subject that we need to talk about mm -hmm. so that people like we forget this area of the pelvic bowl and that there could be some stagnation there mm -hmm. due to a lot of different things a lot of different things emotional things that happen mm -hmm. um, ideas belief systems physical trauma whatever so we started to, she does work helping people remove the stagnation and I'm gonna let her describe thank you Dara yes please thank you please yeah, so what I do, what I do is the Arvigo techniques of Maya Abdominal Therapy. Arvigo? Arvigo. It's okay. named after Dr. Rosita Arvigo, who's this amazing woman. She's like 75 now. Mm -hmm. She was um, a hippie in the 70s, ran away because she didn't want to be involved with the war. They went to Mexico, studied with indigenous midwives, and then moved mm -hmm. to Belize and was a herbalist. Um, and one day, this beautiful Maya medicine man came into her store. And and she was teaching him about herbs and then he told her who he was and she said I nearly fell off my chair because I'd been looking for him wow. and he was one of he was one of the last Hamen which is doctor priest a shaman of the Maya okay so for years she followed him around and said please let me learn from you and he said no no you're not from my people and then eventually he agreed and then this work came from that so she would spend a lot of time with him collecting plants and initially there was a lot of herbal medicine and a lot of treating people that way but then she noticed he was massaging people's pelvises especially women um, and it took them a while to figure out what was happening because when they asked him what is this he said it's good for them this is what works this yeah. helps women who are sick down there and then because she has a background in nephropathy which is kind of chiropractic but for soft tissue and ligaments um, they found out that he was really rebalancing the ligaments of the pelvis so what I do now as the main thing in my practice is based on what she learned from him and it helps the uterus go back into alignment through external massage um, but it's also good for men it's also good for children it's really just kind of doing yoga for your organs it's helping your organs get back into balance um, and creating space, creating homeostasis, letting the fluids flow, mm -hmm. letting blood, nerve supply, lymph, chi get to everything. Um, and of course, there's going to be emotional liberation when that happens in a big, big, big well way. Well put, well put. I tried to describe it to these people who were just in this puppy store. Yes. <laughs> and I was like, eh. And I was like, we need to turn the camera on because as in, as within, so without, mm -hmm. as in our homes, Absolutely. if there's stuck energy, it's going in one room, it's going to affect another room, another oh. area of our oh lives. So if we have yeah. stuck, if we have stuck energy in our pelvic area, it will affect everything, our life force. Mm. So what an interesting thing that, that you can be massaged. What a, what a, what a amazing thing because we do yoga and we get to do some of that mm -hmm. on our own but yeah. to have it really yeah. a trained um, practitioner to go in and do that so I was thinking well you know Samara lives in New Zealand and far away she can't really do that for everyone so I'm kind of encouraging there her are to make here though really so maybe yeah. we're gonna post a link to you below Perfect. and if somebody wants me to connect with someone where they live yeah I'll help them and, and I'm happy to make videos. I'm day. happy to tell you that you're really great on camera and that just flowed through you. I told you if you turn the camera on Thank sometimes, it, it's it's not about us. It's about the information mm -hmm. and the information does come through. Thank you, Dara. Right? Yeah. It does. Yeah, I feel that. Like, I feel the energy flow of that. It's very... It's time yeah. for this information to get to us. So... I have to agree with that. And so just to, just to add to that, so that's the main work I do, but I've also had the absolute privilege of working with Tammy Lynn Kent, who has developed a system called holistic pelvic care mm -hmm. for women and that's internal vaginal release work with the fascia mm -hmm. and it is the most gentle beautiful transformative life-changing I mean I can't even explain it it sounds really out there mm -hmm. but when you give that work to people or when you receive that work yourself it's like coming home like some of the things that I've seen are postmenopausal women who felt like this is my body now, it's gonna be dry and painful forever, suddenly having like Life. a vaginal experience that felt like they were in their 30s. 
right you know after one treatment and going to the bathroom and their bladder flow is like how it was 20 years ago like right. um, things that women thought were scars disappearing because they weren't scars they were tight fascia you know prolapses starting to lift back up so wow. things where the only option was surgery mm -hmm. actually just a little bit of love and manipulation I was just, just gonna say the word manipulation just a little attention to the matter a little to, bit a little love to that area and we need love everywhere we need mm -hmm. love to our eyes to our necks to our yeah. everywhere I mean our I fingertips agree. why not to yeah. this place that nobody talks about the vagina Let's talk <laughs> about the vagina. <laughs> it's a place we, we all come from really yes. and it's just so you were mentioning a book oh it's Naomi Wolf's book vagina and yes. it's like one, I think every woman should read it. Okay. I mean, every woman who wants to should read it because it will change everything for you. I mean, it goes deep into the science of the actual neuroplasticity of the vagina and the pelvic bowl, and you know, just a lot of historical forces that mm -hmm. have changed women's sexual responsiveness, but also that that affects their creativity and their ability to be free in the world, yeah. and how children are raised. This is something I really am passionate about. If women are treated badly, children are going to grow up with issues around compassion right. so all of this is much bigger implications than just us you know going oh this is my body this is like out in how we raise children how we raise the right. warfare you know just how we treat animals how we treat people how we treat the planet ultimately yeah because if we can actually just you know respect that life comes from here mm -hmm. then we're gonna respect my, uh, the great mother like for me it ends with the, the end game is the divine mother and for me right. that's Gaia like at the bottom of it that's mother earth mm -hmm. that's the end game of all of this so yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah <laughs> so yeah so yeah that's just it <laughs> love for ourselves love for everyone else and love from where we come from mm -hmm. both here and uh, earth and earth. and and our planet and everything is all about love so ultimately yes. we got to take care of our energy and what what a perfect combination this is you know raw food mm -hmm. massage manipulation attention to these beautiful mm -hmm. matters thank mm -hmm. you so much for sharing this I was like we are I just met her we met to meet and when when she started talking when you started talking mm -hmm. about this I thought oh I if I want to know I'm sure everybody else wants to know thank and you, I'm so looking forward to hearing more whether it's in the written word if you're writing mm -hmm. or you're speaking on camera I am really happy to share oh, you thank and you your work. so much thank you're you amazing thank, thank you you. Yeah, okay, that's everybody. a real privilege. Thank you. Yeah, we'll see you soon. Bye. Get your greens on and your pelvic massage. Get your pelvic massage on. <laughs> Now we're filming Roxy. I should have taken a picture of it before the I broke it. Food. It was a bumblebee treat from, oops, sorry. It was a bumblebee treat from the dog store and she's enjoying it. Yes. Right? Look at that. She's so happy. Okay, this is for more with Dara. This is a private thing. This is a private moment. This is a private moment. Chowing down on her. <laughs> She's so <laughs> sweet. Oh my God. Oh, she loves it. Good call on noticing them. I'm sitting here with Samar. Hi, Samar. Hi. We just did a video for YouTube and it was fantastic. Thank you. No, everybody's going to see it and love it. And Samar, you guys, is on more with Dara. I don't know how active she is, but a little here bit. she is. Yeah, I been... can be more. You could be more, but now we know. It, it's so nice to put like a living 3D face to the yeah. little pictures and yeah. whatever comments. So here she is, everybody, and she's going to be our resident expert on vagina care. <laughs> <laughs> no, internal pelvic. It's not where I'm making a joke. I'm being funny. But like how we take care of our homes, we take care of our intestines, mm -hmm. our colons, mm -hmm. we're taking care of ourselves by eating well. But what about um, taking care of that area of our body, the root? Absolutely. It is the root. It's like the front door, you know, in a sense, it's the foundation of the house. If we're not aware of this, there's so much we're doing from unconsciousness. There's so much we're doing around relationship, around mothering, around self-care. I think right. that's the crux for me. It's like self-care can't happen when we're cut off from this mm -hmm. because yeah, it's Good huge, point. right? Why? I want to look at you and I want to look at Well, you can look here. I'll hold it here like right okay. at me. How's that? Why? I think because... Wait, tell, explain what the root chakra is for people who don't know. That's creativity, sexuality. Right. So the root and the sacral chakra, like I did done about nine years of yoga training and then before that, I'm a Reiki master before that. So there's been ah. a lot of training around this stuff. But um, yeah, thank you for the O. Oh, it was nice. Yeah, it's that's a, really it's cool. a It's a, a, you know, a life of service in a way and it's been a real life of energy. I think that's why I shared with you I can't do Wi-Fi because it drives me nuts but um our root and our sacral chakras are these energy fields high um that are deeply connected with the earth and deeply connected with our 
ability to derive nourishment and sustenance because that's what opens first you know in a sense we have to land here on the earth we need to know how to get from here and not just from our mothers anymore so if there's disturbance here we're gonna have disturbance feeding ourselves our whole life ah it's kind of like when your colon's clogged and the cilia yes. can't pull in the nutrients exactly if your uterus or your muscles or the, oh, like the fascia is so out of stories. whack yes. you're not gonna be able to fully be have like oh my god the energy flowing oh my god. and be able to give and receive right exactly. that makes so much sense it really does and it's all like things are meant to be in a certain balance in our organ system and in the past you know I know you've you've done some videos with Herbie and squatting and all mm -hmm. those beautiful things around moving in a way that the body actually was designed to move and now that we live in lives that are quite confined and very linear movement and not being able to necessarily get into our pelvis deeply there's a lot of tension in the fascia and the whole system that you know that and emotional stress can cause the uterus to really get out of balance mm -hmm. when that's out of balance yes there's going to depending where the uterus is where she is it's going to affect the actual systems around her you know and so then that can lead to chronic i've had like some real chronic constipation clients that mm -hmm. amazingly like in one session like like one person hadn't gone in six months properly right it was nuts it was like nuts they had to you know travel to another country to try to get and what fixed it one <laughs> lifting the uterus off really the really one treatment yeah i think i might have to use day. this video attached to the youtube video because this is good information because we really didn't talk about like what symptoms might be if something's off constipation could be one of them yeah so is... i could i should want to run me run you through some sure so yeah i mean for a woman you're gonna have menstrual problems mm -hmm. so you're gonna have like pain if your uterus is out of if balance your uterus or... is out of balance okay. so what i mean by that is the uterus is held up by several ligaments mm -hmm. and this is all the amazing work that dr rosita identified and so a lot of times you'll get like women coming in saying oh the doctor said i have a retroverted uterus but it's not a problem because they're doing the examination prone mm -hmm. so what it looks like lying down may not be what it's like functionally um and oh. because what's normal now is not optimal like 70 or 80 percent of women maybe even more based on just the amount of people I'm seeing I don't know what the world is like but just my own kind of group um, is definitely nine out of ten women have some kind of imbalance so that's normal Mm -hmm. But does that mean it's optimal? Does it mean it's how we were designed to be? I don't know. Right, really nine out of that. ten women could be eating standard American food right now. That, that having, a good inflamed, idea. having an inflamed colon is one of the major reasons that the uterus will move out of place. I've found that in my own life in the past. Okay. And a lot of women, inflammation will cause the uterus to move in the other direction. Then you're going to have a hip misalignment. It's another reason not to, to eat gluten. So exactly. it doesn't knock your uterus oh out of whack. God. I didn't even think about that one. And so when the hip moves, then the sacrum's going to move. Then you're going to have all kinds of back pain. And then childbirth is often going to be difficult. Like, So I'm not saying this happens exactly like this, but I've seen this pattern mm -hmm. a lot. So in terms of symptoms, in women, you're going to see menstrual difficulties. So that's pain. Mm -hmm. It can be endometriosis. A, a uterus that's out enough so that it's almost upside down can have something called retrograde bleeding where blood can actually come out of the fallopian tube into the peritoneal cavity so in that case like it's like leaking it's like mm -hmm. turning something upside down in a slow leak so every time hormones go up and down you're gonna get really bad pain any kind of growth like a fibroid a polyp a, you know any of those things is just a symptom of stagnation mm -hmm. so all those things in women um, any gut issues low down I'm not saying it's always uterine but, it's but it could be could be and what do you suggest to people who aren't living near you and can't see you and maybe is there are things that we can practice at home uh -huh. to help us so what we could practice at home if you're in an area where you can see someone who does what I do at least one session just to okay get, because they'll teach you how to do self-care massage okay So self-care massage is really amazing like it's just simple nine movements mm -hmm. but it helps liberate everything That's so wonderful it's wonderful maybe you can make a video on that I'm not allowed to because okay. of several reasons. Somebody did that and oh. people didn't follow the instruction properly and oh. hurt themselves. Okay. So that's not. So that's, it's better to have it in person. It is because people have IUDs. People have mm -hmm. all, people have um, abdominal wall separations. Right. People might have unstable Everybody's pubic different. bones. Exactly. So it's good to see someone. If you can't see someone, castor oil packs are great just to introduce warmth and heat and movement. That sounds beautiful. Oil pulling is wonderful because it creates movement in the body. Wow. Um, just generally anything that liberates this area. Hi, Roxy. <laughs> She's so good. Look she at likes her this conversation. Face. 
<laughs> drinking lots and lots of water okay but at temperatures that suit your environment so cold water is really stressful for most people yeah um you know really getting into that releasing the diaphragm whatever that looks like so one of the things we do is really work on releasing the diaphragm so you had said at the beginning of the video something about how one thing going off will set something off mm -hmm. the area where I see that the most is the diaphragm closing when the diaphragm closes blood going in and out of the this kind of thoracic area and um, you know food moving mm -hmm. down and nerve supply of the vagus nerve gets very restricted so then people are like in fight or flight all the time so breathing is breathing the thing that helps and the diaphragm body work to release the diaphragm so massage yes yeah, sleep okay. sleep. sleep body massage breathing yeah high cortisol will clench the diaphragm like, oh, isn't it amazing so it, all of this stuff. we know when we're feeling clenched we like do. we know it nothing works well so this, if people want to look into this work, the website is arvigotherapy.com. Mm -hmm. That's A R V I G O therapy.com. Mm -hmm. And you can find practitioners in your area. Mm -hmm. You can also attend a self care course. I teach that as well. It's a two and a half day class where the whole, you go deep into wow. the Wow. In deep. New Zealand, you teach it. In New Zealand and in Dubai. Mm -hmm. I teach in those two places. But wow. Yeah. So can we put your something below that yeah, people can my contact website, you? My website is www.moon-yoga.com. Okay. So the dash is like right in the middle, not the underscore. So M-O-O-N-Y-O-G-A.com. So very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah, so it's beautiful. It's just getting in relationship with this. Mm -hmm. The big thing I guess I just want to end with is... People don't get touched in a non-sexual way here a mm -hmm. lot of times. We just don't. Like, we get massages on our backs and our legs. I had one recently. It was really nice, but I was like, what? Like, no one's touching me here. What's right. this about? Like, just my arms are afraid to go near the areas, but those that's another just body part. It's amazing. Yeah. It's like mm -hmm. I spend so much of my time holding people in this space, and something magical happens when we're, like, babies get their bellies rubbed yeah. all the time. You know, dogs get their bellies dogs rubbed. Dogs get their bellies. Like, and even yeah, with, yeah. like, our lovers, we don't always go there in a non-sexual way, in a loving way and right. then the whole body just goes you know and then things work because all our organs of existence are really here oh. like we could lose an arm or a leg and probably still be alive yeah you can't lose anything here so and it fits a, by the way I know you love Chinese medicine mm -hmm. so Maya medicine and Chinese medicine are like this there's a lot of similarity there's a great book called wind in the blood mm -hmm. written by like four or five authors I can't remember their names but they look at the similarities between TCM and traditional Maya medicine they used to do acupuncture with stingray quills oh, amazing wow. so look into that book okay and definitely I think I mentioned this in the last video look up wild feminine that's the internal pelvic work which is a whole other thing but same vein and yeah okay yeah now I'm linking so this video is not only for more with Dara I believe because it sounds like something we all need to know but we are on more with Dara Samar is on more with Dara with me as are some other lovely. So honored to be there. Yeah. I love it's it. It's a very love close it. community mm. where we can share. So, um, mm. well, that's good. It's good. That's good. On that note, I thank you so much. I thank you. I mm. thank all of the people watching because I really think if they've shown up for this, there's an earnestness and a love for healing. They really mm -hmm. want. They want it. Yeah. And I really honor each person that turns up for that. That takes a lot of courage because these are vulnerable places. So you know blessings to you power to you whoever you are mm -hmm. and if you want it the answer will come that's so true yeah thank Great. you thank you bye bye, bye. <laughs>